Men who design, and the builders, and the testers had fun. And while it's never going to take the place of the family car, I, for one, am going to have a lot of fun owning it. Now, this could never have happened unless the world's largest manufacturer of automobiles had put its tremendous resources back of the job of designing and building a sports car to uphold American leadership in every field of transportation. They built her to handle like an angel with every ounce of weight right where it belongs for perfect balance. Clean and sleek and efficient looking and light and strong. And they kept the cockpit simple and practical. For the power plant, they started with the finest valve and head engine. Some extra special features of higher compression, triple side draft carburetors and dual exhaust give her 160 horsepower. Naturally, the automatic transmission quadrants on the floor. That's in keeping with sports car tradition. In addition to the speedometer, there's a tachometer to measure engine revolutions. They call her Corvette, and she belongs to the highway just for the sheer and simple joy of driving, for the open road and the country byway, for Mr. and Mrs. America in a carefree mood. And now, the completely new Corvette Stingray for 1963. There are two Stingray models. First, the Corvette Convertible, which has been restyled from grill to tailpipes to give it a look of speed to match the blazing performance of its big 327 cubic inch V8 engine. And second, the new Corvette Sport Coupe, the most exciting hardtop model you ever laid eyes on. It'll be a pace setter for years to come. With four engine choices, including fuel injection and power up to 360 horsepower, America's one true sports car continues to prove itself a top performer throughout the world. This new GM experimental idea car is not for sale, and probably never will be as such. But some of its innovations and touches of style it may appear in the showroom model someday. It's an offspring of the Chevrolet Corvette, known as the Mako Shark II. And its distinctive coloring, shading from deep blue at the top to light gray underbelly, simulates that of its deep-sea namesake. Developed at the tech center, the car is piloted by Carol Roth, attractive enough to be a model, but actually a Chevrolet staff member. William Mitchell, GM styling vice president, briefs Carol on some of the shark's many unique features. A top that raises at the touch of a button for easy entry and exit. A new 427-inch Chevrolet V8 with a three-speed hydromatic. A vacuum-operated gas filler cap, controlled by a release of the instrument console. The engine can be serviced for oil and water through two round ports, flush with the top of the hood. All controls are at the driver's fingertips. Direct digital instruments are easily read. Drum-type controls for the AM-FM radio, and all switches are either recessed or flush to provide greater safety. The steering wheel tilts, and since the seats are solidly anchored, the foot pedals are adjustable. It's an extraordinarily safe car that anyone can drive, and Mr. Mitchell is keenly interested in everyone's impressions. The best way to find out is a trial run. Who 
wouldn't like to get behind the wheel of this car. Even though built on a production Corvette frame, the shock is more than nine inches longer and nearly three inches lower than the current Stingray. Its independent four-wheel suspension and disc brakes give the car excellent control. At night, its six-unit iodine quartz headlights can flood the road with more illumination than any lighting system now allowed on the highways. Cornering lights linked to the turn signals are recessed in each front fender behind louvers. This is a car that is confident, poised, and every bit as capable as it looks. An unusual safety feature is a pair of retractable stabilizing flaps at the rear. In the up position, they make use of the air flow over the body to put more load on the rear wheels for better traction. Featured in the fastback design are remotely controlled louvers that can be opened for ventilation and visibility to the rear. During bad weather, windshield wipers do their regular job. And then, they disappear from view for cleaner lines. And it sure beats digging for blades buried in snow or frozen in the glass. Altogether, Mako Shark 2 is a real jackpot when it comes to new ideas on wheels. And lots of other people feel the same way. Found here for a series of European auto shows, the car was an immediate hit at Paris, the first stop on its tour. It began as genius and grew to be legend and has become at long last the most advanced production car on the planet. You've never seen anything like this before. A new Chevrolet Corvette like never before. Never before. A Corvette superb in its engineering and technology and defiant in its performance. You've never felt anything like this before. Feel the performance of the world's first computer-activated manual transmission. Never before. Corvette with never-before-available unidirectional turbine fin wheels and tires individually engineered for all four corners. You've never seen anything like this before. Liquid crystal displays. 14 separate instrument readouts, English or metric, all updated 16 times every operating second. You've never An available Delco Bose stereo with four never-before speakers, separately engineered for sound that's out of this world. The most advanced production car on the planet is now called Corvette. Chevrolet is taking charge. Satellite just located another test site. No problem. Now, how do we have a problem here? We don't know what it is. I don't know if I'll see Get him down here. Talk to me. Rule testing, Stuttgart, monitor six. Lateral G's point nine three. What speed? Miles power, one five zero. Push in, five hundred percent. Pushing in, five hundred percent. Speed, one six zero, and climbing. What the hell is going on? We're tracking them. Enhance that. Speed 170, still climbing. Does anybody have any idea what this is? I do. Well? It's the next vet. Get me one.
the official car of your dreams. Thanks for watching the Corvette channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe.